name is Garmin and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial video, we are going to be putting in a zipper into this pillowcase. So here you can see the zipper already put in. And this is the pillowcase that we are going to be inserting the zipper into. So a little disclaimer, I am filming this video way ahead of time. I'm filming this in September. So this is Carmen of the past. I do not know yet what we are going to call these pillowcases. Um, we are making them with Scapius Metropolis and this is part of their Scapius Knit Along for 2022. You can see the different colorways here. And I thought to create a tutorial video for putting in the zipper as I think many would really like a tutorial video in addition to text um, because sometimes written text just isn't enough uh, of an explanation and um, so that's what we are doing today before we start make sure that you have your pillowcase cast off using the instructions in the pattern um, so that means you will have one side that is cast off right after the color work and one side that is a little bit longer and that you will fold over like this. Um, and on either side you will also have cast off one stitch, one stitch on each side so that when you um, fold over the edge that there won't be like a, a pointy, <laughs> pointy uh, tip to your pillow so that it just fits nicely into place. Now what you will need is a zipper and if you got the kit then you will have one zipper of 60 centimeters. Now our pillow is 50 centimeters wide or 49 but let's say it's 50 centimeters. Um, so you will have 10 centimeters of the zippers um, left over which is completely fine and I'm going to show you how to um, manage that. Um, for colorway number one which is called Sifsium, did I get that right? <laughs> it's the Latin name for thistle, it's this one. You will have a dark blue zipper. For the second colorway called Rosa you will have the um, light blue zipper and for the third colorway called Erika you will have a dark green zipper. For the Erika kit of the Sassenachkal we actually decided to go with a teal colored zipper instead of the dark green one I'm showing you in the video. So don't worry if you don't have the exact color that I'm showing you in the video. This was all decided after I filmed this video. You will also need some matching thread to put in uh, either your sewing machine or to use by hand because you could also do this by hand uh, but this tutorial is going to be for uh, using a sewing machine. So for the um, colorway number one you could use some dark thread. Um, just, just note that um, each of the two pillows so there are two pillows in one set and they will have a different color yarn up um, at the cast off where you will put the the zipper so so this is the Jamie cushion or the Jamie inspired cushion and it has kind of this wine red and a Claire cushion uh, has this really light purple so you could choose like okay I'm gonna use a very light light blue uh, to go with that or you could match um, the color of the zipper and actually for this pillow um, <laughs> I made a little mistake in that I chose one color light blue for one side and dark green for the other side but I'll just show you a close-up that really both options look very nice. 
So either match your thread with the yarn of the cast off or match your thread with the zipper. And if you're using a sewing machine, be, be sure that you wind off a little bit of the same color on a tiny spool for the other side. I don't know what it what it's called, but I think you will understand. You will also need a lot of pins, whether you use a sewing machine or sew it in by hand, you will need a lot of these pins. Uh, or you could use these clips. I think they are made for quilting. They also have smaller clips like this um, and they hold your fabric and zipper really firmly into place. So you can use either one of those methods. Before you start, you want to iron your pillowcase and you can iron it by setting it to the wool setting. And to start, Lay your pillowcase flat with the, I'm going to call it the, with the short side up. So with this side up and iron it so that this lays flat because when you cast off, this will be curling up. So iron it so that this lays flat and then turn it over and iron it so that this lays flat. Okay. And now for the pinning. Okay, we are going to be pinning the zipper to the long side first. So the bit that you will fold over. So I have my zipper laying here with the zipper pull to the right hand side. Um, I, I think you could also attach it like this, but uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not too experienced with putting in zippers, so I'm just doing it how I've done it for all of the pillowcases so far. And we are going to be pinning it from this side, so I'm going to zoom in on that spot. Okay, and this will be cut off too, or you can just um, fold it to the inside, but um, I like to line the edge up kind of like this, so that when you close the zipper, it won't be exactly at the edge of the pillow. I think this looks really nice. And first off, let me show you the, the, this is the right side up of the blind zipper. The other side looks like this. And this actually looks like the right side of a normal zipper. So make sure that you have it right side up like this. And we are going to be pinning it to this side of the pillow and make sure that you don't pin um, through these zipper teeth because you don't want to be sewing through the zipper teeth. I did that a couple times and it, it will just um, make the zipper stuck in places and you will have to undo that bit. So, so take your pen um, and I'm going to insert them like this, going down through both the fabric and the zipper and then coming up again like that. And I'm going to do that basically for every like centimeter or centimeter and a half of the zipper. And pinning it like this is really helpful for the sewing machine. Um, I've pinned it this way once, but uh, you see it kind of creates a bulge in the fabric like this and uh, sometimes 
it can make your um, zipper seem a little wavy. So, so pinning like this is really helpful. And you can also uh, sew over the pins like this, so you won't have to stop to take them out. And kind of feel with your fingers. You can feel where the actual zipper is. And also, if you try to pin through the zipper, it will give some resistance. So try to get as close as possible to the zipper teeth, but not too, <laughs> not too close not in the actual zipper teeth. Okay, and I'm going to continue um, until I have pinned all the way under here. Okay, so we have pinned the entire zipper into place and we have this much left over here and we're just going to leave this for now. Another thing that is really helpful is a zipper foot for your sewing machine. Now, and, and to change um, foots, sewing foots on your sewing machine, I have to push this red button. It can be that it's something different for you, but I just press it here and it releases the zipper foot, um, the foot, I mean. And this is a zipper foot. And you can put a zipper foot on on the left side or on the right side and it will depend on um, which side you have the zipper on so I'm just going to show you how to attach it you want to position it beneath these gripper things and then lower the, um, the foot and then it is attached and this uh, this placement is for if you are going to run the zipper through like this. So fabric on the left side, zipper on the right side, this will be helpful. Um, if I want to run it through the machine like this, which is what I actually want to do, then I will need the uh, zipper foot. Actually, I will need to attach it through the other side. So. I'm just going to push the button again and attach it to the other side. Oops, I have to position it directly below the gripper things. It's not working. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and now I'll be able to run it through the machine like this. All right, so I am going to be sewing the zipper like this. So zipper foot first. And to start, you want to unzip it to, I don't know, about halfway, um, because you don't want to be sewing next to the uh, zipper pull. And in order for the fabric to fit through here, I am just going to fold it a little bit so that I can put it through here. And yes, it might be um, a better idea to have the fabric on this side, but this is how I did it. <laughs> so this is how I'm used to it. And um, if you want to do it the other way around, then feel free. Uh, so I have attached my zipper foot. I have attached the green sewing thread. And now I'm going to turn on the sewing machine. And I am going to set it to the uh, third. Um, let me just show you. I am going to set it to the third um, stitch on my machine, which uh, adds a kind of like a start and end so that it kind of um, weaves in the thread. All right, and <laughs> now for the scary part. Um, so a little more guidance. 
because I would need this for my first pillow. So you want to sew as close to the zipper as possible, but not over the zipper teeth. That is very important. Uh, when in doubt, sew a little bit more away from the zipper teeth because, um, yeah, once you sew over the zipper teeth, your zipper will get stuck in that place and you will have to unpick that. Okay, so I'm going to lower the foot right on this spot. Let me just use a knitting needle to kind of smooth the fabric underneath the zipper foot. And I'm going to remove the first needle. And now I'm lowering the zipper foot. Okay, and now the stitch that I have chosen, it will go back and forth first. Um, you can also just choose the very first uh, stitch on your machine. So it will just sew a straight line and then you will have to sew in those ends here yourself. Okay, so I'm going to go very slow and steady. All right, so we've made a beginning and I'm going to remove the needles as I go, at least the ones where I feel a little, little bit of resistance. Okay, and very slow and steady, we are going to sew next to the zipper. Okay, we are almost at the zipper pull. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click a button so that my needle is inserted into the fabric. Uh, oh, that was the wrong button. Like that. Um, because I am going to lift the sewing foot now. And if your needle is out of the fabric, then your fabric will shift. So I'm going to lift the foot, then I am going to hold the zipper. And perhaps I'll just remove these. And then I'm going to pull the zipper closed, just so that we don't sew next to that zipper head. Okay, lowering the foot again and I'm just having a <laughs> crochet hook or a knitting needle is really handy for kind of smoothing down the fabric okay and now we will continue oh I seem to be going a little bit further away from the zipper here um, and I'm just going to see if we can get back on track yes
Okay, and now at the end, I am going to click the kind of end button so that it will do the kind of weaving in bit. I am not sure how, how all of that is properly said, but here we go. Okay, so let's remove our work. Okay, now I'm going to, going to take out the pins. You could see where I went a bit wrong. Here I, uh, I just left more fabric um, between the zipper and the sewing line. But overall, it seems to be pretty nice. It's not my best work, but all right, hey ho. So the ultimate challenge, let's see if the zipper opens. Yay, that is the most important part. Um, that means we did not sew over the zipper teeth. And although it is not completely neat in places, I did something weird here, it is, um, it is fine for me. So now we are going to be attaching the fabric to the other side of the zipper. Now I have turned my work and I am folding the fabric like this. And we have to pin this into place and the trick to doing that neatly is to pull the zipper open and then to start pinning from this spot so i'm actually wait i am going to pin the first pin while the zipper is still closed so that i know i have you know that it cannot shift so I'm just holding that and then pinning that into place then I'm pulling it open and then now I will pin the rest of this side Before you get to the end with pinning, just um, tuck the end of the zipper into the pillowcase. Like that. And this side of the pillowcase is going to be attached together and I left the um, yarn end here so I can close this up. Okay. And for this side I am going to 
move the zipper through the machine like this um, with the fabric on this side so I will need to just um, reposition the zipper foot there and then see you don't want to put it through the machine like this because then you will sew it to the back so open it like this and then put it through the machine and really make sure that you're not sewing through two sides of the fabric again I'm just kind of moving it into place with my knitting needle lowering the zipper foot And there we go, fingers crossed. Hmm. Okay. Trying to be better this time and um, keeping it closer to the zipper teeth. We're getting close to the end now. Okay. I'm doing the last bit by hand. So I'm taking some longer pieces of thread so that I can secure this part here by hand. Before I do that, let's just see if the zipper opens and make sure that there aren't any threads hanging between the zipper. Moment of the truth. Yes. Okay, that is brilliant. Okay, first off, I'm going to be attaching the edges of the cushion cover. So I'm just using the yarn end from the cast off edge and if you don't have that then perhaps you can just attach another thread or you can do this with the um, ends from your sewing thread. And you can do a whip stitch or you can do just 
this stitch that I'm doing right now is side to side. The whip stitch is where you enter from the same fabric and uh, from the same side every time. And then I'm just putting that to the inside of the fabric, threading it through and weaving that in for the sewing thread I'm taking a smaller needle just removing this pin and you want to hold the fabric flat against the zipper and you can just take it one stitch at a time or you can um, you can use a running stitch which is where you insert and then let the needle go up through the fabric in one motion And you just need a couple stitches to secure the zipper and then when you're done um, you can thread it through the zipper teeth here or come up on one side and then Kind of going through the zipper teeth so you block the zipper here because this is where we have the excess of the zipper so in order to stop the zipper from going too far you can make a couple of stitches there so that the zipper actually stops And then on the other side, um, I've already woven in two of the ends so that we only have one end per side. And we are going to use these to get these ends of the zipper nicely in place and also to, to attach the ends of the cushion cover. So I'm going to do the lower end first and I'm going to move the zipper end a bit down and just sewing that into place. And then, so this part is going to be attached here. So this corner needs to be attached in this corner. Like this. And, um, and again, I'm just sewing those little ends together. even though this is a different color you barely see it so I'm okay with it and then I'm just I'm just going to sew this through the um, 
fabric of the zipper a couple more times because that is more um, it's more likely to stay put this way and you can also sew the zipper fabric to the inside if you don't like it to um, if you don't want it to come out okay I think that is secure enough so I'm just going to snip this and onto the other end and I'm just making sure that that end of the zipper doesn't poke out there all right let's see how this looks when we close the zipper okay so you might want to steam block this um some more because now the ends are kind of rolling up that's also because i did the first part like not not really neatly this is not my best work um if you have it closer to the zipper or closer to the edge of the cast off and cast off fabric um then it will be neater but um you can you can iron it again in fact i think i'm going to do that and then i'm going to put in the uh the cushion insert okay we did it. <laughs> we did the hard part. Uh, the zipper is in the cushion cover and we are now going to insert the cushion pad or the cushion insert. And just a little tip for your uh, cushion inserts because uh, we made the cushion cover to be 49 centimeters to 49 centimeters. Uh, 49 by 49 centimeters to fit a 50 by 50 centimeter cushion pad um, because the uh, cover will stretch a little bit and it will look nicer if the cover stretches to um, to cover the pad so just having a smaller cushion cover will look nicest because over time the cushion cover might sag a little bit, it might get a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, it's, it's better to have a smaller cover and a bigger cushion pad. But um, some cushion pads are not filled as much as other cushion pads. So I bought cushion pads from two different stores and the first one was perfect. It was filled just very firmly, very plump. It was perfect. But then when I ordered again, that website was no longer in business. So I had to get it from somewhere else. And these cushion pads just aren't that filled. So what I did was I <laughs> took this, which is um, kind of a polyester filling. But this is really great in that uh, it comes out as a sheet like this. And uh, this is great to, you can kind of open your cushion pad. And see, I've inserted a layer of foam here. 
and you can you can insert them on both sides um, of the cushion pad to kind of fill it up a little bit more and this is especially handy if perhaps your gauge was a little bit off uh, which resulted in a slightly larger cushion cover then just filling up the pad or maybe getting an inner cushion that is 55 by 55 centimeters maybe that will make enough of a difference um, yeah just just another small tip so you want to open your cushion cover and I'm going to turn it inside out um, and the corners I'm going to take the cushion and place the corner over that and then turn the cover right side out and then just get it around the cushion pad Maybe I filled this one up a little bit too much, <laughs> but I like my cushions to be plump. There we go. And then, so when you see the top of the cushion, you will see that there is a larger bit on one of the sides and that is the front of your cushion so that when you lay it on the couch that the zipper isn't really visible um, because that just even though it looks nice and the zipper color co color coordinates with the rest of the cushion um, I think this side looks even better and yeah that is how you insert a zipper into your cushion cover i hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and i hope that it was helpful as you know i like to go through the entire process tiny step by tiny step i like to be really hand holdy <laughs> <laughs> even though some people don't like that I like to be as clear as possible and uh, so I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and I hope that you enjoyed making these cushions and I myself I'm very much looking forward to the knit along next year it's still a couple months away from me so yes thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in one of my other videos happy knitting and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.